Hello and welcome back to Beautiful Things and Memories vlog. So for today, this new vlog is just a screen recording which is going to help you deploy Yugo on GitLab pages. So even if we have GitHub pages now, which is usually used by other developers or other website makers or yeah, coders, I still prefer GitLab because it used to be that GitHub didn't have a private repository and you had to pay for the private repository. So now that they have, I still like GitLab because they offered this feature first. You go as a static site generator. So if you haven't seen my video before about creating a customizable Bulma theme for you, go check it out in the link below. I have created a Bulma theme called Audrey. So this was a very long time ago that I posted this, but I just wanted to explain this video now just in case some of us are visual learners. So the number one thing we could do is to fork the repository. So I also link the blog post that I wrote about this below. So you can just check out that blog post and check out this link, Yugo repository. And then from there, once we reach the repository for Yugo, we go to fork here. Now, once it's forked, it will be available on your own repo. So we can name it just you go if you like and let's go ahead and fork the project but first let's put a visibility level at the private so that only you can see the source files for your website and then click on fork so now that we've forked the repository in your project settings do the following go to settings general advanced then remove fork relationship this is so that you won't be contributing to the main repository for you go because if you make changes if you don't do this step it will add those changes that you made to their main repository which is something that we don't want to do right so settings general and then at the very bottom you find the advanced tab or the accordion and then scroll to the bottom and click on remove fork relationship. So just type in Hugo, confirm. So we can see here that the fork relationship has been removed. So any changes you make on your own repo will not reflect anymore on the main repo for Hugo. So now we're going to edit the config.toml file. So go to repository and then files as we see here then make sure to change base url to your site's url we haven't updated the config.toml yet so let's update that right now okay so we're here now at config.toml then edit and then we'll put here in lane apps.gitlab.io let's try this Let's check if it's already up. Dot gitlab dot io slash you go. Nope, it's not. So it's not yet up. The reason why it wasn't working before was because the commit status didn't say pass yet. So you have to wait for the commit to say that it passed. And you can find that after you edit one of the files from the repo, it will send the updates to, back to the GitLab server. So you have to wait for it to process. And then once it's done, you'll see that it's passed. Like this one here is green and it says the pipeline passed. And then visit your site's URL to check if project site is online and running. So the subdomain will compose of your username and then gitlab.io and then the name of the repository that you created. So we have now officially cloned a Yugo site to our repo. So that's about it for today for deploying Yugo on GitLab pages. So it's been a while since the last vlog and I'm so glad to be back here sharing all this content with you guys and hope to see you again soon and hope to show my face soon. If you found this information useful and you'd like to buy me some coffee, you can do so. There's a link below to buymeacoffee.com slash Elena Kino. If you do so, I'll be very thankful. But even if you don't, I'm still thankful that you're here. Thanks so much. See you again in the next video. Bye!